and then the father uh, Diodon Kofi Davo, director of communication, Catholic Bishop Conference. Boba Kaya, Omo at the Sam Kakra by Emma, the head, Name Kasawa, who are ye, ye, but the full communique was issued this weekend. Father, good morning. Good morning, my brother. How are we? Uh, we? We are doing great. I want to believe you're also fine. I am. I said the exhaustion from driving from work to Accra, but I'm fine. <laughs> we thank God for that. He's giving us a grace and grace abounds. L let me ask you, um, what, what, what is inside your final communique? Because... Uh, a tip of it came around and it's created a lot of uproar some with even the MPP and the NDC battling it. What actually, uh, when you met, uh, uh, did you propose or you suggested or you brought out for government to take note of the people of Ghana as well? Okay, um, normally when the bishops meet, they, they have a theme that they deliberate on that direct their discussion for every year that they meet. Mm -hmm. And this uh, is, is actually based on one of the recent uh, letters that Pope Francis wrote, um, which calls for um, universal friendship, brotherliness. And so, and it is, it, it is fraternity to tea anyway. And then you know that we are only trying to get out of the COVID 19 situation. So, if you are talking about being a brother or sister to one another and what happened with the COVID 19, which Pope, the Pope made a reference to. It became the topic for discussion for okay. the bishop. So in the light of this discussion, we brought it, we tried to contextualize it in Ghana. Okay. So what are some of the things happening in Ghana that we think there is a need to pay attention to? So that is where he spoke about some of the difficulties after letting the, um, the people know that, yes, all governments are trying their best, but we still have some difficulties that need some attention if you want everybody to be on board, because mm -hmm. the you don't leave anybody behind. If, you create, if there is a gap, if people are doing well, they are all out there, and the middle is so huge, and the, everybody else is down there. Why? Then we, there is no balance. Okay. Um, so that is why they spoke about a few other things. As you directly mm -hmm. said in the um, keynote address to open the conference, the president of the conference, Mr. Philip Nami, touched on quite a number of things. Yeah, well, one, one, ma that. one major thing that came to the fore was uh, government's fight for corruption, which he said it is gradually becoming an illusion because people in government seek their personal gains than the, the masses. And it didn't go down well with government, and government had to respond through the new patriotic party. Uh, what actually what, what, was it that probably maybe at, at the end of the day, sometimes they say that the media might have twisted or turned things unlike the way it was said. What actually transpired? The president of the conference indicated in that keynote address that if there's one thing that everybody was happy for, or so in the president of uh, the Republic, uh, Mr. Anderson Leonardo Tampakufuado, promised that during his tenure of office, the public press will be protected. Mm -hmm. But he went on to say that, and when he came, when he said that every Ghanaian was happy because uh, we all think that this is the way to go. And then added that it doesn't seem to be the case. Um, we, we hear of all kinds of um, mismanagement taking place. That is why he touched on the, the wastage. Okay. When, uh, when there is so much waste, human in the number of, of the resources of the nation, and where are there very few people are benefiting from it, and the masses who should benefit are not benefiting. In a, any time the bishops talk, what people forget is that these bishops are more or less the people you can refer to as the grassroots people. That's right. Because so when people have difficulty, it is the bishops they come to. And so they hear people complain how they are struggling every day. So at the end of the day, normally what is said is just to be the voice of the voiceless. And one of the things we should do as people in authority, people in power, is what is there any truth in what has been said? Okay. If there is any truth in it, how do we go about it? Down to 
just try to brush it over and think, say that somebody is not in touch. These are these are shepherds. The bishops are shepherds. And so they have many people that they take care of, not only spiritually. And so when when some of these things are raised, I think yes, we are politicians, we would always want beautiful things to be said. But if there is some truth in what has been said, why don't we look at it and see it the best way? Because on the issue it, of uh, free SHS, you, you, you are appealing to government to address challenges. And once again, it is said that the feeding a, a senior high school food is a, is a problem. Some of the uh, headmasters are even asking if possible they should go back to the old system where they were managing the food instead of um, buffer stock because there's a whole lot of trouble and problems with feeding. Some have even suggested that government should even reintroduce community day schools where if you're going to uh, the boarding house, then the parents or the guardians should take care of that paying fees and then the community day schools should rather be free. You say government should address challenges. What are the challenges you're talking about? Yeah, I mean, you have mentioned virtually everything, but I'll let you all know that this, again, was what, something that a lot of headmasters expressed through the bishops' conference. They said they have to go and be borrowing food from their sister schools. And sometimes, because you are not sure when the next the next talk of food is coming, so when you go asking for help from other sister schools, they are very reluctant to, to support. And sometimes... The same food, uh, for instance, if it is beans, because they don't have uh, they don't have other uh, other of type of food to give. Sometimes throughout the whole week, they would not have to live on the same meal. So these were these were worries expressed by some of the headmasters of our certain cycle okay. schools, and so the bishops also decided that it is good to raise it. Yes, we uh, they appreciate what is happening, and as they have indicated. But there is a need, and this is not the first time the bishops spoke about these challenges so far as the free senior high school. And in the previous communiques, they said, "Why don't you come into a dialogue with the stakeholders?" There is always a way around it. Yes, you have the best of intentions, but if you are taking one difficulty or the other, just come back to the very stakeholders who have been part of this from the beginning, and let's see how best we can resolve this. All right. So that is. It is, it, is, it is a complaint that we, we, we got from, and they asked if we can touch on it. And so this Th thanks so much this morning for your time, I'm Father. Okay.